Fred McGuffin Reviews Surviving the Game from 1994 Directed by Ernest R. Dickerson and starring Ice-T With a little touch of lemon, please This is action, adventure and crime And yeah, this is a good watch Really enjoyable, great cast of actors here An eclectic mix uh, they're all, yeah, they're all good bad guys in their own way. They're all, they all play get bad guys well. I mean, you have Rutger Hauer who played a great bad guy on Blade Runner. You have Gary Busey, great bad guy on Lethal Weapon. F. Murray Abram, great bad guy in Amadeus. And John C. McGinley, yeah, I don't know, is he ever a bad guy? He's an annoying, annoying bad guy sometimes. Cinematographer. Current director here, Ernest R. Dickerson, who also directed Juice, Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight, Bulletproof, Bones, went on to direct a lot of TV, including episodes of The Wire, The Walking Dead, The Juice, House of Cards, and was also cinematographer for Spike Lee. And he worked on She's Gotta Have It, School Days, Do the Right Thing, Mo Better Blues, Jungle Fever, and Malcolm X. And yeah, this movie does look great. It looks it looks lovely. He's done a great job here. And yeah, visually it's very striking. And we've got a lot of wilderness scenes here and it looks great. And Ice Teaser Star, he plays Jack Mason. He's homeless. Uh, he's living on the streets. He's trying to survive in the big city. And he has a friend called Hank, and he's got a dog, and he loses his dog, and he loses his friend. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a this is a spoiler review. Spoilers. So go and watch it and come back. So yeah, he's he's having a bad time. He's lost his wife and child as well, and he's a man on the edge. He's about to try and commit suicide by walking in front of a truck, but. Charles S. Dutton comes to his rescue, and he plays Walter Cole. And you may have seen Charles S. Dutton in Gattaca, Alien 3, The Time to Kill, Legion. And of course, Ice-T, you may have seen him in, New Jack City, Tank Girl, Johnny Mnemonic, and Trespass, Ricochet. He had a great run in the 90s, and then he went on to TV work. Law and Order is a show he was in, or still in. So Walter Cole comes to the rescue and pushes Jack away from the truck and offers him a job. And Jack, of course, is, a, is at a low ebb and decides to take this job. And Walter describes it as a wilderness uh, tour guide. And yeah, so he goes to Rooker Harris office. The name of the company is Devil's Canyon. And... Rooker Hauer plays Thomas Burns. You've seen him in Blade Runner, The Hitchhiker, Sin City, Legend. He was a good bad guy. And Rutger, or Thomas, offers him a job, and Jack takes the job. They get, he gets flown to the wilderness to be disguised for hunters, and we meet Gary Boosie, who plays Doc Haw Hawkins. You may have seen Gary Boosie in Point Break, Lethal Weapon, Under Siege, The Buddy Holly Story. Another hunter is F. Murray Abraham, who plays Wolf Sr. And he was in Amadeus, Last Action Hero, The Grand Budapest Hotel. Another hunter, oh yeah, Wolf Sr. has his son, Wolf Jr. And all these hunters are playing 50,000 for the, the pleasure of hunting humans. And we also have John C. McGinley, who plays John Griffin. And you've seen John, it's a bit of a reunion here, Point Break. With uh, Gary Busey and John C. McGinley. He was also in Seven, Platoon, and Scrubs. And, oh, by the way, Jack's friend in the city who dies, his old, older friend, is Jeff Corey. And he plays Hank. And you may have seen him in. Yeah, he's a legend. He's, he's got 239 credits on IMDb. And when you see him, you'll know him. He's a complete legend. So, 
Jack gets taken to the wilderness and he's treated nicely for a while. He's given dinner. But the next day, they want to, they mean business. They're going to have their breakfast. They kick Jack out of the, the cabin and send him running and tell him, you're our prey. We're going to hunt you. They have quads. They have all sorts of gear. It looks like Jack's in trouble. They have guns, crossbows. Yeah. How is Jack Mason going to survive? And uh, yeah, this is setting up Ice-T to be an action star. And he does a fair job. He does a fair job at it. Yeah, it's, it's a fine performance. Um, but for me, Gary Boosie steals the show. And he does a great, he has a great uh, monologue about how his father was teaching him to be a man and his dog was involved in this story and he really goes for it and you know you're listening to him rap it feels like the the story that quint tells in jaws you're you're sort of in in rapture at this story that he's telling about his childhood and he steals the show from rutger hauer because that's i was i was hoping rutger hauer would be the main bad guy here but Doc Hawkins is our alpha male and unhinged and yeah, you really fear for Jack Mason that this lunatic is coming after him. But the funny thing is, Doc Hawkins gets taken out of it very early and that's a shame for this. A bit, a bit of a, a minus in my book, lose a few points because Gary Boosie was the best bad guy in it. And then he gets taken out and... Rutger doesn't seem, or Thomas Burns doesn't seem as bad anymore compared to Doc Hawkins. So we go through the movie. Jack Mason, he's not, he's not going to take this line down. He's, going, he's well able to fight these guys and, you know, get retribution. And he's not someone that, he actually helps, he captures one of the hunters and helps them out. And with their asthma. And one of the hunters decides to, to walk away from the whole situation and not, not uh, continue the hunt. And he gets shot by one of the other hunters. So, yeah, it's a, it's a nice, uh, it's not black and white with our, with our bad guys and our, and our good guy. Some gray, gray areas. We also find out that back in the cabin, that they all have their dinner at, their breakfast, and where their, their base is. There's a room that has heads of previously hunted men in jars. And when Jack Mason discover this, discovers this, he's, he decides to re wreak retribution on that cabin. So yeah, this is a, a fine movie. You, you, you can basically tell how this is going to go. And... Yeah, it's uh, run the mill. If you've seen The Most Dangerous Game from 1932, this story's been done a lot of times. Uh, Tar Target was another version of this with John claude Van Damme. And The Hunt, a recent movie, I think it was 2018, is another version of this, which I enjoyed more. I think I enjoyed Hard, Hard Target and The Hunt a lot more than this. So I'd give this a, I'd give this a three, three out of five. But yeah, it's a, it's one of these hidden gems. It is definitely worth a look if you like that type of movie, man getting hunted by man. And uh, yeah, enjoyable. Looks great, great actors, and yeah, can't complain. Worth a look. Brad McGuffin reviewed Surviving the Game.